Costa was it's famous. And what in you in your eyes, what is it known for? Uh, it starts way back, you know, because I was a child, and in '88 and '89, I was seven and eight years old. I still remember uh, Rooks and Teunissen winning the stages on Up the West. And yeah, my father always talks about before about the Kuiper Soetermelk. You know, we won, I think. Uh, winning, uh, so we won seven out of the first 12 or 11 uphill finishes, maybe maybe even better uh, percentage. So that's why it started to be the Dutch the Dutch mountain, and yeah, the Dutch uh, cry at the Dutch corner, and it's corner number seven. Actually, a lot of Dutch fans come to the Alto S uh, to support all the Dutch riders, and they all stand in one corner, and it's it's one big party over there. I think it already starts now, one week before. I've never been there myself in a race yet, or not in the Tour de France or in Alpe d'Huez yet, but uh, I've uh, been there a few times uh, when the Tour was there a few years ago. And, uh, like partying? No, not partying. We had a clinic of Rabobank and we were some uh, guests uh, riding there. And in the end we, did, we, were, we were ice skating uh, up, up, up the corner with uh, a, lot of, a lot of guys. And uh, it's a really special corner, I think. Uh, if, we, if we pass there uh, in, the, in the race, uh, it's gonna be madness, I think. I uh, know it from the TV, of course, of the last couple of years uh, when I'm watching the tour. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to see it myself. Yeah. And how do you expect it to be? What do you think that experience is going to be like? Uh, I heard some really crazy stories about uh, a lot of Dutchmen, and uh, yeah, looks like uh, it sounds really fun. So yeah. Do you think you'd prefer uh, riding up the climb in the race, or do you think you'd prefer hanging out on Dutch Corner cheering everybody else on? Yeah, now I'm looking forward to the race, but I think when I'm riding next to the corner, I would be uh, joining the party, I think, yeah. First time I did it was in 2008. I've done it twice in the Tour. In 2008, I was still first 20 GC before the stage, but that that stage was the last mountain stage and it was tot yeah, it's totally black in my memory. I cannot remember anything because I, was, I had, was out of fuel, I had no sugar, I, I, just black spots everywhere. I, I know all my friends were in that corner, I only see, saw my little brother, my wife, nobody else saw I was that. But 2011 I started that mountain uh, in the first group and I decided to enjoy. So after the first K I took it a, a bit easy and then I was just enjoying all the people and when I, I went into the Dutch corner like this uh, they got crazy man uh, they stole my radio uh, my radio was lost and because everybody wanted to touch me and I did not have to pedal for several hundred meters so that was really uh, yeah, a big experience for me and I think uh, yeah, you know when you have your, your mentions on Twitter a lot of people liked it so it was it was a night I, I I was a little bit acting in that corner and the people just went crazy. Uh, Simon Garris was behind me, 100 meters, and he was laughing his balls out of his pants. He told me, he was like, yeah, I, when he saw me go into that corner and all the people went bananas, it was, was one of the best moments in uh, my career. What do you think the experience is going to be like going up through there with all the craziness? Uh, it's only Dutch people, of course, and that makes it special. And uh, they make one, uh, one hell of a party over there. Uh, already a week before I think every night and every day so uh, that's that's what, what what makes it special and then the race comes and uh, they go uh, totally mad I think and it makes it special for us also because we get a lot of support and uh, yeah, it's nice to go up there then when you're done racing can you see yourself going back there and enjoying the fun yeah probably once yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right. have you experienced going through it yeah, yeah. what was that like well, too crowded. I didn't. I had like 40 centimeter to pass there, but it was amazing. It's one one under 100 meter like uh, riding in a stadium. What does it feel like? Uh, what kind of inspiration does all the Dutch screaming and yelling at you, giving you encouragement? What's that like? Yeah, it's nice. It's it's actually uh, a part of fun at uh, the whole climb because the rest is just suffering. When you're done racing, do you think you might go back there and party with them? No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, they got the Norwegian corner. Uh, the, what, yeah, the Norwegians are already along. Yeah, as, as long as I do the tour, since 2008, there are also a lot of Norwegian fans in the tour because of Thor Hushoft and, and Eddie Hagen and now Lars Petters also. So, and they have corner one, but they're more like yeah, easy, you know, not like the Dutch. The Dutch is like carnival. It's uh, everybody's orange. And when I went into that first corner of the, there also the, the barriers already started there, so they. 
cannot come. It's more easy. And yesterday I saw a tweet about a guy who wanted to create an Irish corner and uh, in corner number 10, so three corners before the Dutch corner, but no possible, not <laughs> not a chance to to get on the same level as uh, as the Dutch corner. I, I I texted back, and they started on Twitter, but I know the Dutch fans won't disappoint me, and that corner will stay the the main corner of all the world.